All right, today we're going to be taking a look at Skype Mobile, just released uh, earlier today for Verizon and uh, compatible with uh, Verizon's Blackberries and Android lineups as of right now. Probably a few different uh, mobile platforms later. So here we go. This is uh, Verizon Droid. I'm going to go ahead and launch Skype. And we'll sign in here. And while we're waiting on that, uh, here in the background, I've got Skype also pulled up on my computer just uh, so we can kind of see what's going on in the background. First thing that happens when you sign in is it asks you uh, for like a status update. What are you thinking? Let your friends know. I'm not going to fill that in for right now. So here's your main screen. You've got your contacts. Skype test call is uh, on there by default. You've got events, which are instant messages uh, that sync up with the computer. And then you've got call phones, and this is to dial uh, just any, any phone number anywhere in the world, landline, mobile number. You do have to buy Skype credit uh, to be able to make international calls. There's also a few other options when you press the menu button here. Down at the bottom, you'll be able to update your status, set your mood, add a contact, edit your profile, buy Skype credit, and then if we hit more, um, we've got our settings here. We'll go into that real quick. Notifications, obviously you want that on. Auto sign-in will make Skype remember your password so you don't have to type that in every time. Start automatically will launch the app when you turn on your phone. Show phone contacts is kind of neat. It'll make it so you can import all your address book contacts into Skype and call them on their landline or their mobile number, um, regardless of whether or not they actually have Skype. Scroll down just a little bit, you can see uh, if we receive calls, we can set that to uh, only allow calls from Skype contacts, no receiving calls at all, or uh, calls from anyone. And that's really it in the settings menu of, of any uh, real substance anyway that we'll go over today so we've got the instant messaging working I was talking with a buddy of mine here and it doesn't look like it there it is it pulled up the conversation from the computer um, that I was having with him a little bit ago now as for calling him uh, we did have a little bit of trouble when we first got started so hopefully it doesn't uh, it doesn't mess up for this uh, video. He was able to call me just fine from his droid, but when I called him, it just rang and rang and rang. A minute and a half went by, and it was still ringing, and he never received a call. So we're going to go ahead and try to call Rajiv and see if we have better luck this time. So you just tap on the contact's name. It'll give you a couple different options here. Show profile, send IM, and call. When we hit call, it'll also pop up with another sub-menu. This is his direct mobile number we can call him on, also send an IM, or we can call him on his Skype, which is exactly what we want to do because that's airtime free. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And it takes just a second here, but then it goes to our dialer screen, it calls the generic Skype number, and uh, Well, <laughs> there we go. First, uh, first problem in our demonstration today. So we'll go back to the Skype app and see if we can maybe just try that call again. Now, this, as you can see right here, this is the downside to uh, Verizon's CDMA network: is voice and data are not simultaneous. So, being as Skype is a, a data application. Uh, we're not able to make a phone call and stay signed into Skype at the same time, so you will notice that drawback every time. Uh, you will have to sign back in anytime you make a Skype call, or even outside of Skype, a regular phone call comes in, or you make an outgoing call independent of Skype, you go back to it, you're going to have to sign back in. That's one thing that you will have to remember to do, uh, because the application does not do it for you automatically. Now we're signed back in, and Skype on the phone here is telling me that uh, Rajiv is offline which 
let me take a look at the computer here, I don't think is actually the case. Oh, there he popped back on. Yeah, he's still online. Let's try giving Rajiv a call one more time here on his Skype number. See if we can have a little bit better uh, luck this time. All right, so there's his Skype call. It's going through. We'll just put it on speaker here. No busy signal this time. Well, maybe it's doing what it did before. Oh. Made it a little bit further. Um, I just sent Rajiv uh, an instant message on the computer there, letting him know that we were giving him a call. And uh, he is, in fact, online. He said, okay. Matter of fact, here's his message. I said, we were calling you, and he said, all right. But uh, it never went through. It didn't look like on his part. We'll give it one more try here before we uh, give up. Third time's a charm, right? Well, either that or three strikes and you're out. All right. Oh. And uh, Rajiv just confirmed on the computer via IM on Skype that in fact, number one, he is online, but number two, that he, he didn't receive any call. Um, yeah, as we can see here, anything yet, nothing. So three times, it uh, looks like we, uh, we've got the three strikes, you're out. Ended up being our luck. Um, I haven't actually been able to make any successful outgoing call to him, and as of right now, he's the only guy that I have on my Skype list. He's been able to call me, so let's see if we can uh, make that happen. Now, one thing I noticed earlier, is that when he was when he did call me uh, the computer picked it up well before and there it goes as a matter of fact the computer picks it up well before the phone does here's our incoming call and there's the phone All right. at this point it's just like a regular call can you hear me Rajiv All right, great. Well, thanks a lot for giving us a call. I just wanted to test that out for this video. All right. All right. Yep, it's working so far. I wasn't able to make a test call to you, though. That did not go through, apparently. <laughs> kind of like the problems that we were having earlier. All right. Well, well, th well thanks a lot. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye-bye. All right, so there we have an incoming call worked from his droid. To my droid that worked just fine so that's uh, about as comprehensive of a review as we can do at this point uh, not perfect by any means but uh, definitely a, a step in the right direction that call that he just made to me being as it was Skype to Skype that's airtime free so I mean that is one perk it when the service works that's definitely a good thing um, everything else as far as calling internationally I'll leave that uh, alone for now <laughs> and try to figure out how to make a, a successful outgoing call before we mess with really anything else uh, but that's gonna do it for me this has been a review of the new Skype mobile for Android if you'd like to pick it up for your phone if you've got Android or Blackberry rather uh, you just go to skype.com forward slash mobile and here's what the website looks like right now if you've already got Skype, you just need to download the client. If not, you'll need to download it and then uh, sign up for a Skype account down there.